Hey there, welcome to Tim Talks Cooking. I'm Tim, and today I'm going to show you how to make some really great keto zucchini chips. You know, I think we all get a craving once in a while for something crunchy. It's something we can just snack on without really giving too much thought to the macros, although I am going to show you the pertinent nutritional information as we go along, and we will calculate the macros for the whole recipe. As for portions, well, that's for you to decide and for you to calculate on your own. But anyway, let's get to this recipe. Very simple, only has two ingredients. It takes a little patience, and but totally worth it. So let's get started. You'll need two zucchini for this recipe, and what you'll do first of all is cut off both ends, like that. And next, now, if you've looked this up on the internet, you'll notice that most of the authors of the recipes, they use a mandolin, which is a device that makes really thin and really regular slices. I don't have one, and so I'm going to use my chef's knife here, which I made sure I sharpened before I got started. I'm going to show you how to make really thin slices pretty efficiently. And remember, you don't have to do this fast. It takes a little bit of patience and a little practice, too. Make sure you hold the zucchini down so that it's stable while you cut it, and you're going to use your fingernail of your index finger to guide you as for the width of the slices, the thickness of the slices. Just like that. And as you can see, I've got nice thin slices. And there we go. And I'm just going to continue until I've finished with the zucchini. To absorb some of the liquid from our zucchini slices, I've arranged them in a single layer on sheets of paper towel. And I'm going to cover them with more paper toweling. Once some of the water has been absorbed, remove the top sheet of paper towel and arrange the slices on a baking sheet covered with parchment paper. Preheat your oven to 225 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 105 Celsius. And before we put these in the oven, now you'll notice I've got them all in one layer. They can be touching. They're going to shrink during the cooking process but you don't want them in more than one layer. We want to coat them on the top with a little olive oil or whatever oil you like to use, just like this. And then we're going to put them in the oven for two hours before we give them another look. Now here's what they look like after two hours in the oven. You'll notice some of them are nice and brown, like this one, absolutely beautiful. It's just what we want. Uh, hear that crunch? Really crunchy, it's delicious. Now. Some of them are still white. These are probably the thicker slices. I'm going to remove all of the chips that are nice and brown, and I'm going to put the whiter ones back in the oven and crisp them up. Well, while we're waiting for the slices that didn't quite brown up yet to finish in the oven, it'll take about five minutes or so, check this out. Here's our little bowl of chips. I think they're just lovely, and as you heard in the last segment, they're pretty crunchy. Check it out. Oh, yeah. Really lovely. That's excellent. Now they're a little bit small, and I think next time I might cut the zucchini on a bias so they end up a little bigger, but I think these are really great. Great snack. Listen, I hope you'll try this. Let's talk macros. For the entire recipe, it's 126 calories, 8 grams net carbs, 0 0.4 grams of protein, and 11.8 grams of fat. Of course, if you want to divide this, you just divide those numbers by whatever number of portions you make out of this. Listen, thanks so much for joining us here today at Tim Talks Cooking. Before you go, don't forget to like the video, give it a thumbs up, to share it on Facebook, to comment on it, please, and to subscribe to my channel. Helps my channel grow and helps you find my videos, especially if you click on that notifications bell. We'll catch you next time at Tim Talks Cooking.